Kurt with Teach Mom How here. Today we're going to learn how to send an email using your computer. It can be a Mac or a PC. It's the same difference. You just use an internet browser. Let's get started. Sending an email using Gmail on your computer, okay? Whether you're on a Mac or a PC, it's going to look pretty much the same. You can use whatever browser you choose. I happen to be using Chrome because Chrome works on both a Mac and a PC. Once you're in Chrome on your computer, you're going to be in what's called your inbox. Okay, This is your inbox. You simply need to just push this Compose button, this plus right here. That's going to pop up a um, draft for you to start typing your email to. That's who you're sending it to. Now, this has to be typed exactly as their email is or else it will not send to the right person and may not send to anybody at all. So you need to type in the name of the person that you would like to send an email to. Let's send one to James Clapier at gmail.com. Now case sensitivity does not matter in this case. Uh -huh. In sending an email, you can have it all caps, you can have it all lowercase, you can have a mix of the two. As long as the characters are the same, it will go to the right person. It's not It's not like a password where it has to be case sensitive, okay? So James Clapier at Gmail. Subject, you want to name it something that is relevant and something that will get the person's attention enough because we get so many emails in our day-to-day -day that we may not pay attention to it. So type in something that is relevant. Meeting a reminder, and then address the email. And just simple letter writing applies here, you know. Address them professionally as recommended. What's cool about Gmail is it gives you prompts, and if it's if the sentence is similar to what you're writing, or maybe even better, you can just hit space and it will type the rest of it for you. Of our meeting today, tomorrow, 9 a.m. Okay, so you, ty you type your email, whatever you want it to say. Down here, you want to be aware of a couple things. Okay, obviously, I could just click send and it would go, Hey, baby, good morning. Um, these are some insert loom recording. These are like screen recordings you can do with the app I have. Don't worry about that. Formatting options. Just like a text editor, you can format a Gmail email to choose a different font, the size of it, and if this thing would get out of my way, you can choose to like make it bold or italicized or an underline. Okay. Sometimes these are useful tools. You can change the text color with this. You can left justify it, center it, or right justify it, like that. You can add a numbers list if you're typing a list of numbers or a bullet point list. These are things to just make it look more professional and to stand out. Just like a text editor, you can edit all of those things. Now, this is probably the most important thing in here is adding an attachment. Okay, it's oftentimes that you will need to add an attachment. That means you're going to attach a file. That could be uh, a picture. It could be a document for school. It could be a PDF that you made that you have to turn into your teacher. It could just be a whatever. Okay, so you click this to attach the file. There's actually two ways to attach a file. You you click that little um, paperclip button to attach a file, and you have to navigate then in your in your Finder window if you're on a Mac or on a PC, you'll have a similar window. You navigate to the file. Let's just pretend that this is the file. And we click open. And it's now going to upload that file and send it with this uh, email when I send it. Okay. Now, if you're sending a huge file, sometimes it won't work if it's too big. If that's the case, you've got to use some kind of a Dropbox or a service called WeTransfer or something to send a big file. Okay, you can't attach a huge file into an email. 
There's also a second way that I do a lot to attach files. If you open your window, like let's say Finder or whatever, you click on the file that you want to drag into your email. You can click and drag this right in that email. Now it will say drop files here and that will automatically add that file to my email. Keep in mind if you drag in a photo or a picture or some kind of a graphic, it will show up in the email as opposed to like a PDF or some other type of file where it just shows up as a list that they have to download. So this you can change the size of if you want to. And that's pretty much it guys to sending an email. These other things are just to add photos, to add things from Google Docs, um, you can insert emojis and different things. You can insert a signature, different things like that. But now you're ready to go. Just click send, and that email will be sent. And right here in your inbox, you can actually check to make sure it went. Even though I got a message that said it went, I can go to my sent folder and see that this email urgent meeting reminder got sent to James Clapier. All right. That, my friends, is how you send an email using a, either a Mac computer or a PC computer on Gmail. Hey, Kurt here with Teach Mom How. Before you go anywhere else, check out this playlist I created for you. Everything you can ever need or want to know about Gmail is found in this playlist. Click the video playlist and watch. Also, please like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for notifications.